I'm on a mission to thrift my way to the USA. What that means is over the next few months, I'm gonna go out to local thrift stores to try and find profitable items that I can sell on eBay. That will hopefully build up a budget of $8,000 and get me over to the USA for a 10 day thrift trip holiday. <laughs> yeah, boy. But these videos aren't just about me saving money for a trip. It's also about helping you guys find the right items to sell on eBay for your own reselling business. So grab a notepad, take a seat. Class is in session. Well, I won't lie guys, I got pretty excited when I saw this wireless game quip guitar for the PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3 hiding on the floor. It had a $30 price tag on it, which wasn't putting me off because these things can go for some very good money, but I have no idea what that stain is and game quip, well, it is aftermarket. So therefore, I put it back on the shelf. Have a look at this, The Walking Dead Seasons 1, 2, and 3 for $25, no thank you. NCIS for 30 bucks for three seasons. You've got to be kidding me. I won't be able to get that done on eBay. Also found these as well though, and it is an Instagram viewer poll question based on the price. The LA Lakers Chuck Taylor Converse All-Stars size 14. I asked the Instagram audience to let me know their thoughts on that one. Football boot season is here, guys. The footy is just about to get underway, and I have found myself two absolute ripping pairs. The ACC there, that tells me that these shoes are elite, and they are high-end, and they are worth a lot of money. So to find the Magista Opus here, they should go for about $200, I kid you not. And I've also found these as well, the Lethal Stats for $25. So I don't mind paying up if I know I've got a good thing. And I've definitely got a good thing there with those two pairs of footy boots. So definitely look out for them, especially at this time of year. I found a very brand new pair here of Asics Gel Contend 5. These are a pair of women's running shoes. $15, never a concern. That was a great get as well. And then I found the staple RM Williams. So I've got the moleskin pants here. I've got just a $10 price point. How good is that? I'll definitely go ahead and take these ones away with me. They did have a bit of a vintage tag on the inside as well, which got me a little bit excited. And I've also got the G-Star. These are the Revenge skinnies. You can always go well when you buy a pair of G-Stars. And you'll see in a second, I've paid myself a pretty cheap price to get my hands on it, just the $8. So not too bad of a first run of the day. Such a 50-50 decision with those Converse All-Stars, the LA Lakers. I mean, there's some real opportunity there, I felt. But when I had a look at the comps on eBay, there just wasn't a lot talking to me. So I put it up to you guys, Instagram viewer poll question. And in a very, very tight vote, you guys did say to drop them. And I think at $35, that's probably fair. If they were about 20 bucks, I might have considered it. Any sort of limited edition Chuck Taylor All-Stars, you can generally do all right. So I think it was just the price point that put me off in the end. If you've been watching this channel for a little while now, you'll know my love for DVDs, and we've got a carry-on collection here. 13 a dollar a piece. They should turn into about $50. That was just a great find. I've also got the Vicar of Dibley, brand new and sealed, seasons one, two, and three. That should turn into about $30, and I'm only paying the six bucks there at two bucks a piece. Call the Midwife. I've actually got seasons one, two, three, and four here. Paid the $8 for it, but that should do well. The Three Musketeers, or should I say the Musketeers, seasons one and two, Death in Paradise, the Benny Hill Collection, East of Eden and Third Watch. They go for about $10 to $15 a piece. There's a couple more uh, series there of The Midwife. But guys, I'm basically picking up TV shows. That's the way I like to do it. The OC, Seasons 1, 2, and 3. That seems to generate the most money when you're buying your DVDs. So I always scan the racks, and we've come away with a heap out of this lot. Jumped into the clothing section. I also found this one as well. This was a Shark Motorcycle Women's Jacket. Now, it was $30 worth of a purchase price, which to me, I don't know. That just seemed to be okay, because I know motorcycle can sell well. But this one was in light new condition. Um, I haven't sold motorcycle gear too much in the past, so that's why I was a little bit nervous paying so much money for a single item of clothing. But definitely let me know in the comments below, if you saw this yourself in the op shop, would you go ahead and pick it up to try and flip it for a profit? Uh, I jumped into the shoe section as well. The Nike Metcons, these are just a fantastic pair of shoes if you can find them in the thrift. Now, I'm always buying them for around about that $15 price point, which is exactly how much these ones were. And they typically go on to sell for about $60 to $70 a piece. So very excited about that. But I went behind the counter and I found another pair in pink. And uh, these are in much better condition. Didn't need to be cleaned. They're a US size 10. She priced them up for $20 for me. Like I said, I could turn these into about 60 or 70. I also found the Keen as well. These Keen waterproof sandals, they were only $12 US size 4. So I actually went ahead and bought all three pairs of shoes. Have paid up slightly for these shoes in the end, but they will all go on to sell in a really quick space of time. I've previously sold them quite well in the past. And when you put the DVDs that we're able to buy in this run as well, this has turned into a pretty epic day so far. Thank you. Well, I've been
Let me know in the comments below if you've sold much in the way of motorcycle gear before. I thought $30 for that jacket was actually a pretty fair price. It was just a sell-through rate when I had a look on eBay that kind of put me off in the end. It's not the be-all and end-all sell-through, but I definitely am starting to pay a whole lot more attention to it. You guys said to go ahead and drop it. I've listened to you guys on this occasion. Just too much money for a single item of clothing. All right, where are my booksellers at? I've found a bunch of Harry Potter books here and there's two things to know when you're selling your books. One, Harry Potter always sells. And secondly, make sure you're looking for first editions on all your books on the inside cover. This one here should go for about $35. So I don't mind picking it up when you get that return. Hey, quick one on the DVDs. Just make sure that you're looking for region codes. I've seen a bunch of the TV show Lewis here, but as you can see here, there are a couple of them that have region two and that doesn't play here in Australia on most devices. You wanna be looking for for region four this one here even a region zero that will play right around the world so that's no concern there but just one thing to really pay attention to um, didn't end up buying the lewis collection for that reason i jumped into another store here and i have found a bunch of dvds priced at just again two dollars a piece so that's not too bad at all we've got the oc every single season one to four and i've also got doc martin as well we've got four seasons worth here which should do all right well guys, I'm sure there wasn't too much footage in that run because I was not seeing a lot. So I'm gonna call that the end of op shop run number three. Uh, a little bit disappointing there. Those op shops were giving me absolutely nothing. But uh, we do have an opportunity now to finish the day on a high with op shop run number four. So let's dive into it and end the day, hopefully on a high. Well guys, we have absolutely crushed op shop run number four. Let's check it out. We've got the Nike Metcon Flyknits here for $15. Again, for the third time today. So they should turn into that $60 to $70 price point. I've got the Sacconi Freedom ISO running shoes here. Just an $8 price point on those. I'm happy to buy them without laces. That's not too much of a stress. I've got the Shimano. These are some triathlon cycling shoes. US size 12, $8. The TR31s, they should turn into about $50. I've got the Hover Under Armour uh, running shoes here for $15 as well. They've actually got the little Bluetooth base on them as well, the Velocity. So these ones here, by all reports, should turn into about 50 bucks. I'm happy to pay 15. All of these shoes, I'm pretty much maxing out at $15. Wouldn't pay too much more, but still stoked to get the quality. I've got these as well. Talk about quality. The Omnitech Columbia hiking boots. A pair of women's US size eights there for AR for $15. So all in all, guys, we've done unbelievably well in the shoe section, but that just continued over in the clothing section. I've got these as well for just the five We've got a pair of Columbia yet again, the second one today, uh, a pair of hiking pants there. So they should do about $35 to $40 pretty comfortably as a bit of a bread and butter item for me. I've also got these ones as well, the Levi Strauss 312 Shaping Slim 34 Waist for 10 bucks as well. They go for about $45 per the comps that I was seeing on eBay. So two very, very good pairs of pants there, but that didn't end there. We've also got for $10, we've got the G-Stars as well. These are a really nice pair of women's jeans. I'm always picking up G-Star whenever I'm seeing it. Another great brand to be looking out for. And then only just recently, Nudie Jeans. It's just something that I've picked up and for five bucks, I'm gonna continue to buy them. These Lean Deans, as they are called on the inside tag, they go for about $75. So probably arguably one of the best pickups I've had today though, the Nudie Jeans. And then an absolute staple, we've got the David Smith Chino Pants here, size 30 waist, just a $5 price point, again, $35 to $40 worth of resale value. So this store, it is my favorite. It is the Molendina store here on the Gold Coast. And Emma, the store manager, is an absolute legend. Thank you very much for your services today. They were an amazing couple of collects. So there you go, guys. I was able to pick up 28 items today. Total cost of about $300. And I think the estimated resale value when you go on to sell it on eBay is about $1,100. So when I take out fees, postage, cost of goods, typically I take home about half of my overall sales. So I'm going to account... $560 towards this USA trip that is very much fast approaching. Now, we're up to a total of about $1,830 and my conference that I'm about to jump into in Las Vegas is about 700 bucks and the one-way ticket over there is about $1,000 as well. So I pretty much only accounted for those two activities and we've got a big 10-day trip to go on. So there's a lot more thrifting ahead to get this trip underway. Hopefully you can stick around for it. I'm gonna leave you with a bit of a playlist as well in my YouTube channel and that will document all of these videos in the one section. So go back, follow the journey if you've missed any episodes, but I'll leave you with last week's episode right here. Appreciate you tuning in, guys. Thanks very much for your support. 30% Clubbers, you guys are the best. We'll see you soon.